Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. Did you know that more than 50% of my customers ask for plain hem when they want to shorten the jeans? Some of them think that it's cleaner, others say that it's not necessary, and others say that anyways, after a few washes, it will become the same way as the others, but do you think that I will just throw in the garbage? Mm -mm -mm. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why I don't. So let's go! If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. This is a box that I keep with my hems. I even label it. <laughs> I have all sorts of jeans hem in a lot of variety of colors and length, and I also try to keep them in pair. And when I have too many, I kind of process them and put it in this container. I love this storage container. It comes with cookies. And then you can use it for its real purpose, storage. In this case, I already have cut all the excess of material. As you can see, the ones in the box has a still like a seam allowance, but the one on the tin storage are already with the seam allowance cut. So same hems but two different uses. Let me show you the main way I use my jeans hems. This is a new pair of pants and they come just like that and they really look great. But I'm afraid that with the time will go a little too short and they are just right. They don't have any protective seam. I feel like these jeans will go very bad. So I'm gonna search among my hems to see if I can find a matching color. Light blue are always scarce. Well, anyways, I found two in my collection. So this one is kind of too dark still, but this one is a little bit more a similar color. Still the texture and everything else is so different, but that's what we have and we are going to work with that. So I'm gonna take my pair of pants and I'm going to lay them flat on the table, folded by the creases, the front and back creases. And I'm gonna make sure that they are all parallel and everything. And what I'm gonna do is to kind of straighten the hem. I won't be able to make that super straight, but let's see. And then of course, you know the drill. I'm going to open those hems. This one has a very, very, very strong thread. <laughs> and then I'm going to clean them and prepare them for sewing. Make sure always to remove the little threads around the seam. You don't want them in the way. So my hem is a little bit wider than the jeans. So I'm going to measure the hem with the jeans and then I'm going to mark the length and then I'm going to sew. It's very important when you sew them to try to match very well all the lines you have lengthwise because that will make your final result nicer. After I will cut the excess of seam allowance and as you can see, this one is not perfect. The seams don't quite match completely. By the contrary, this one is really, really nice, as you can see. Anyways, the other was good enough and we can just go ahead, but if you really wanna do a good job, you can match it better. My next step, you know the drill, is to sew the hem to the pants, matching all the seams at the sides. And now is the time to try to find a nice color thread. This color is a little bit tricky. I don't think I have but I will find the one that match the best. And then I'm going to my strong sewing machine and then I will go and sew all the way around over the original stitch. And here you go. This is my results. As you can see, they look pretty good. It's not exactly the same quality of material and anything, but still will make the trick. For my second use, I'm gonna tell you something that really happened in my store with this pair of pants. We did this regular hem and the customer came to the store and said, oh, this pant is too short. 
So I look at him and I said, oh, but they are not really so short. And he explained to me that he really, really, really liked the jeans bunching at the front. So I told him, oh, that's okay. Don't worry. We can fix your pants. I have your original hems. And what I'm going to do is to open the hems with it. There you will have around one inch already. And then we are going to iron everything at that way, you know. And then we are going to increase your pair of pants about one inch. Don't worry, we are going to iron. At the beginning, you might see a little bit of the lines, but after two or three washes, those lines will disappear. And then he asked me, how can you put the original hem? So he didn't even know about the Euro hem. And I said, I'm going to open your original hem and then I will just cut it out and then I'm going to sew it to the pants that are already longer by one inches and you will be all okay. And he said, but isn't that too much trouble? And I said, don't worry because we really didn't know that you really like the pants super extra long. He explained me, I know it's because I had another instance that she closed and she knew how I liked them. So I wasn't really used to explain that. And I said, oh, don't worry. That's okay. If we can understand each other, there's not any problem on my part. So I saw the original him back. As you know, we have a video explaining step by step one for the Euro hem, which is what I'm doing now, and another for the American hem, which is a little bit different, but it might be probably easier. Probably, yeah. So just check those videos if you want to do the step by step. I just wanted to show you other creative ways to use your hems. So don't throw any jeans hem you have. Here you go, this was the result. The customer was really happy. Just right after this incident, he brought me like a probably four pair of pants and then a few months later, he keeps coming all the time, each time that he buy new pants. When the customer is nice and I'm responsible, then we can cut each other some slack. Let me see if I can find, yeah, this one. Sometimes the hem is damaged like that. So because the customer don't want to lose too much of the length, I use the Euro hem to substitute this one and it will be great. Another handcraft that I love to do is some art and some coasters with the hems. In this case, I use those kind, the ones that are in my storage that I previously showed you that I already have cut all the seam allowance. And then, you see, I produce them. Do you keep the original hems when you cut your jeans? Do you do the Euro hem? What do you do with them? So guys, that was all for today. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm.